Uh, topping our newscast here at 5 o'clock, it is apparently the beginning of the end for medicinal cannabis dispensaries here in Kern County. As we reported to you last night, the Board of Supervisors yesterday did not approve an extension request for certain pot shops and went a step further, ordering one shop to close within the next 10 days. 17's Aton Wallace has been following this story and joins us now with details on what happens next. Aton. The attorney representing the West Coast Healing Dispensary said today he has an emergency plan to keep the shop open, at least for now. An open sign hangs proudly outside the West Coast Healing Medical Marijuana Dispensary on Taft Highway near Southwest Bakersfield. But the future of this shop remains unclear. Last year, West Coast Healing was one of 20 medical marijuana shops in unincorporated parts of the county granted an extension through May 24th of this year. The motion is approved, four eyes, one absent. But yesterday, with the exception of Leticia Perez, who was absent, supervisors voted this shop must close by February 15th. It was a slap in the face. The vote was a slap in the face, he says, because he came to the board asking the shop be granted an extension to stay open one more year to recoup what he said are more than two thousand dollars in expenses. Supervisor Zach Scrivener disputed the $200,000 figure, noting the shop's pre-November 2017 ban regulation expenses were closer to $5,000. He argued the shops had more than enough time to recoup the costs. My line of thinking is that the submitted amount of $5,171.55 for capital improvements before the 11-24-17 ban date, which is what we're, we're considering, um, is is such a, a small amount that there has been ample time for the applicant to recoup that investment during the one year period since <coughs> we put the ban in place. The board then passed a motion ordering the shop to close for good by February 15th. The county takes the approach, we don't want anything. We just want to push you away and then that now we have problems. KGET went to the shop today to get a comment, but a person at the front door said only Godinez will speak on behalf of the shop. Meantime, Godinez says the board's decision led him to file an emergency restraining order in court, requesting a judge allow the shop to remain open past February 15th. This will only institute more litigation, and so now we'll have to prepare for that. If the order is denied by a judge, then a sheriff's raid will likely take place at the shop, and it will be forced to shut down. And just when you thought this is over, at next Tuesday afternoon's Board of Supervisors meeting, the board is set to hear extension requests from seven additional shops. In Studio A, Tom Wallace, 17 News.